And now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning. We're waking up to some snow covering parts of the Ozarks this morning. This picture sent to us from our very own Melanie Chapman in Monette, Missouri. You got a dusting of snow on her little playground back there. We've got some snow covering the grill in Laclede County. Uh, got a report of about two, two and a half inches on this deck in Waynesville, Missouri, sent in by Amy. And then Jill and Nancy Vestal sent in this picture of their deck in Webster County. They also report about two to two and a half inches uh, on their patio furniture. So we've We've got some totals from the overnight ranging about one to two inches, close to three in Stratford, two and a half in Northview and in, and in Marshfield, about an inch around Springfield and totals just under an inch in Willard. Uh, so what to expect this morning is the snow is done, accumulating snow has exited. The roads are mainly wet this morning because those air temperatures and the road temperatures are at and just a little bit above freezing. So the things that are snowy and slushy are cars, sidewalks and grass. You need extra care in the bridges, overpasses and sidewalks out there this morning. Clouds in Springfield you can kind of see a little bit of a white layer uh, on the ground there. 33 degrees and north and west winds at three miles per hour right now. It's 33 degrees in Ava, 32 in Branson, and 30 in Fort Lenwood. So you can see temperatures are not that cold, which is why we don't really have that snow sticking to the roads and wreaking havoc this morning. Uh, we've got clouds out across the Ozarks, and the snow is done. It is exited, and we're left with mostly cloudy skies. Our front is still stalled to the south and east. We've got mostly cloudy skies hanging across our area today, and they'll stay put ahead of our next storm that's still set to arrive tonight into, into tomorrow with a mostly rain event. So hour by hour, we're pretty quiet today, just cloudy and temperatures chilly in the lower 40s. Overnight, we'll find rain arrive after midnight uh, from south to north. On the northern fringe of this rain, we could have a mix to snow as it continues to push north, right? So maybe starting with some snow and then quickly transitioning to rain. We're looking at all rain for most of the area by uh, the afternoon. Temperatures in the middle and upper 30s. But then by Wednesday night, we'll have Arctic air come in on the backside, so then we get a bigger change over to snow, making it probably as far south as the interstate. And then we'll have maybe another round of some light, quick hitting snow going into Thursday morning as temperatures nosedive. The rain forecast, we're looking at totals uh, up to an inch in south central Missouri, north central Arkansas, about a half an inch in Springfield, and then less than that to the north and west. Uh, so with those totals near and over an inch to the south and east, that poses a limited flood threat there. So you want to be careful near low water crossings. As far as the snow side of this, looking at about an inch or two from Lake of the Ozarks to Clinton and Nevada, probably around one inch from Stockton uh, to Rolla, and then really not much as you go south of there, less than an inch or a dusting, and not expecting too much snow out of this. So what to expect here is that rain arrives tonight. We'll have that layer of a mix to snow uh, moving northward on the northern fringe of the rain, right? Then widespread rain on Wednesday with that limited flood threat, a change to snow for more of us by Wednesday night. Generally speaking, totals to the north about one to two inches, less than an inch in Springfield, and then tumbling temperatures and flash freeze concerns by Thursday morning as temperatures going to the teens to start on Thursday, and then we're going for a high of 29 degrees by Thursday afternoon. So by Valentine's Day, things will stay pretty cold. Mostly sunny skies with that temperature of 42 degrees on Friday. 40 today, we're looking cloudy and chilly on north winds. Rain arrives tonight with temperatures just above freezing. Then we'll have cold rain around tomorrow. Again, could start with a mix to snow and then change to rain. We'll find some snow on the overnight Wednesday night to Thursday morning. We start out at 19 Thursday morning and only warm to 29 degrees for a high.